hello youtube welcome back to my channel so in today's we're going to go over a simple project that i created and this is going to be a new series on my youtube channel uh, we're going to be going over a full stack application meaning a back end and a front end so in the back end we're going to be using a, 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 a an apa so let me just explain to you what the project does first so the project uh, is just about like uh, an in inventory management system right so it can be used like by small groceries or stuff like that this is a small project but you can advance on it with the knowledge that you learn from this video to make a full like a real world like project so it allows you to add a new product it allows you to search for products it's also the products that are in count you can delete products you can get details of the suppliers you can update product and stuff like that so for example let's just start with the delete functionality so i can go ahead and actually delete this you can tell me the product has been deleted i can press ok and it's uh, if i refresh this you can see it has been deleted so it has been deleted from the back end so if i go to the back end you can see we have uh, that uh, that uh that uh that request there and you can see it has reflected so this is actually a real-time application it's working with the back end and i'm right i'm running the back end here and i'm also running the react app from this side right so it's actually a full uh, stack project so this is what we're going to be trying to cover because you can also go into uh, ahead and get the detail suppliers of uh, the details of a given supply of a product if i click on suppliers you can tell me that this uh, product has been supplied by john doe this is the email the phone number the contact i can even send them an email and i can send them the email with the content right yeah so that's all the application you can also go and actually try to update so let's try to update this let's say that the quantity sold is uh, the unit price let's change the unit price to be uh maybe, let's say 400 and if i press update again it's gonna go ahead and actually uh product updated i can press ok and if i go back to the front end you can see the product has been updated and uh, this one has been updated it has been changed the unit price has been changed to 400 yeah so that's the the, the main up the, the main uh, use of this application you can go ahead and delete this if you look at the delete functionality you can squirt let's look at the adding adding functionality so we can go ahead and actually add a new product uh let's call this product uh let's say we're having bananas bananas okay and then the quantity sold let's say we have sold 200 uh i mean the quantity in stock is 200 the quantity sold you have sold only 20. the unit price you can say is 300 and then the revenue is can leave it to, to zero and then i can supply i can provide in the id the, the, uh, the id of the suppliers so if i go back to my api okay so let me just close this for a moment and explain to you so if you finish building the api using fast api but then we are going to be using fast api using python and then the front end is going to be handled by react as you can see here we're going to be using react for the front end and for the back end you're going to be using fast api and if you build an api in fast api it provides you with this uh, U, uh, ue uh sorry gui that you can use for your application so you, you, you can see this gui you get it right off the box without doing anything for it uh, unlike other applications like re uh, flask where you have to write this yourself like you can see in my last uh, previous series on flask api uh we, we, we build an api using flask you can see that we have to write this using uh json files ourselves but in this uh, first api provides you this right off the box so for, for example if i just go to get all suppliers and execute this it's going to return to me a list of all the suppliers let's say i want to i want to say that the supplier of this is james with an id of four so i'm just going to come in here and then i'm going to type in the id of the supplier and i'm going to submit this and then you can see the product has been added successfully i'm going to press ok and if i go back to my front end you can see the product is here right here bananas and i have sold uh 20 so and the unit price is six uh the unit price is 300 so this many times this is actually six thousand and you can uh, it does the calculation for you automatically so yeah that's the, the project that you're going to be building and then again you're going to be using python for the back end and you're going to use fast api for the back end and for the front end you're going to be using react uh, react js so yeah that's the uh, the basic functionality of the you can also search for products so for example i want to search for bananas uh, press enter you can see now we have only bananas in our list so it actually searches and filters uh, the data and if i refresh all the all the data has come back uh, all the data come back so that's, that's the basic application we're going to create so we can also go ahead and actually add uh, different uh, suppliers so i can go to suppliers page and this will enable me to add a new supplier and if i add a new supplier i can add a product to the supplier and then i can be able to send an email to the supplier so for example uh, let's say here i want to add in a supplier and a supplier called uh uh jane let's call it uh jane 
Jane Doe, and then the email of the supplier. So I'm going to just go to use a temporary email. So I have a temporary email pulled up here. I can copy that so you can get it. you can use a temporary email or you can just use your own email. Uh, then I'm going to paste in the email here and then I'm going to pass in a phone number. Uh, let me just type in a phone number. Let me just say this my phone number and then they just to any random number. So this is be that. Yeah, and then we can leave it at that. And then the company we can say, uh, let's call it uh, Chain uh, Limited. And then we can specify the email title. We can just say hello. And then the email contact can say hello. Let's send this to be uh, James. Happy to have you here. And then I can go ahead and actually send that email. So let me send that. Uh, uh, first of all, okay, what I need to do right now is just going, I'm going to add this supplier to the list first. So I'm going to press add. And you can see. Uh, we got an error so let me just press ok uh, for now let's go ahead and actually fill that again so i made an error so this will be james uh jane uh jane Doe. and then the email i'm going to paste in the email that i just copied paste that there the phone number you can press in this and then we can change this to be some random numbers uh let me delete this this will be some random numbers the company can be uh chain limited and then the the email can be uh, the title of the email. Uh, first of all, we, for now we don't need to add that email. So for now, I'm just gonna remove that. What, is, what I'm going to do is simply add the supplier to the database. And you can see we have the supplier added successfully. So when I press OK, so if I go to my first, back to my first API and execute, you can see we have a supplier here with an ID of six, and this is Jane Jane Doe. Okay, so I can go back to my React app, and then I can go ahead and actually add the add the product. I'm going to add a new product. I'm going to also call it, uh, let's call it bananas. Uh, it's 200, quantity, quantity in stock is, uh, uh, quantity sold is 20. Okay, we can leave it as 20. The unit price is 400. The revenue so far is zero. And then the supplier with an ID of six, which is Jane, right? Which is Jane Doe from here. So I'm just going to press uh, uh, submit. It's going to add the product has been added. I'm going to press OK. And if I come to my front end, I can see the product has been added here uh, by this uh, gender and you can see the unit price. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, go to suppliers and in here I can go ahead and actually add a send uh, gender and email. So first of all, you will need to uh, you need to have a product of the uh, related to the supplier before you can be able to send the supplier an email. I know that's not the best design, but this is just a simple project to introduce you to a full stack application. You can improve more on this to make it like a real world application if that's what you're trying to achieve. But it's just to introduce the concept of full stack application, how you can build an API and build a front end in React to consume that API. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and actually send an email. And this is going to send an email for real. So if I press send email, it's going to take some time. And then the email is going to be sent to uh, this specific temporary email. So you can see email since uh, has been sent. So I'm going to press OK. So if I come back to this temporary email, an email should pop up, pop up here. And you can see the email has popped up. And if I press that uh, OK, and then you can see uh, this is the email, right? Let me just close this. You can see, hello, uh, the Jane. Um, uh, let me just try to see. Hello, James. Happy to have you here, which is the message that we sent. And you can see this is the, uh, the, the content of the of the email, right? So, yeah, guys, that's all we're going to create. Uh, going to go ahead and actually create. So this is actually the project that you're going to be creating. OK, and I think I have messed up something. It is supposed to be the email. Uh, this is supposed to be the email uh, content. It's supposed to be the title. As you can see, here, uh, it has been messed up. Uh, it has been reversed okay so that's what we're going to fix in our tutorial and try to make this a kind of a real world application kind of just to give you guys the knowledge on how to create the, uh, the apl full stack apl full stack application so you can see this application uh it has some like it has, it's not like uh, something that you can use in the real world because uh you can see that we, we have to look into the api to get the, the supplier's id but this is just to give you an idea you can create if you learn the basics of this you can create another page for this and then you can get the list of all the suppliers or you can even in the in the in the adding of suppliers you can have like a a, a list that shows all the all the already, already existing suppliers that you can select from but this is just a simple project to introduce you to the uh, basic concept of our uh, how to create a full stack application using fast api and react so you guys if you're interested in this project kindly click uh the subscribe button uh, since i'll be uploading these videos uh, from in the future and i'll have a recording here yet so this is just the first video just to introduce you to it so we'll be using fast api for the back end in python and you'll be using uh react js javascript for the front end uh yeah so the application you're going to be creating so guys if you're interested in this application 
please kindly consider subscribing to my youtube channel so that you can be the first guy to no get noticed whenever i start uploading the first video so the first video we're going to go ahead and actually build our api and then in the other other uh, videos we also go ahead and uh, add more functionality to our api and then finally we're going to build this front end it's going to be consuming our api so guys if you're interested in this project uh kindly consider subscribing to my youtube channel and hit the subscribe button so you can be the first person to get noticed whenever i start uploading the video so that's guys that's all I wanted us to do, uh, to introduce you the project for now. So in the next tutorial, I'll start building the API and you're going to build the API using fast API and you have this UI. And you can see all of this is running on my local machine and all of this is running on my local machine, right? Yeah, so that's what we'll be doing. This is the code uh, we'll be writing in Python. Uh, everything that you will go ahead and write the code to send an email to add uh, to do the crowd functionality for products and suppliers and stuff like that. So, guys, if you're interested, please kindly consider subscribing to this channel and hit the subscribe the notification bell so you can be the first person to get notified whenever I upload the next video. So, next video, we're going to go ahead and start constructing building our API. So, guys, if you're interested so far, yeah kindly consider subscribing one more time i'm just new to youtube so help me by uh, motivating me to keep making these videos by subscribing to my youtube channel so guys thanks for watching i'll see you in the next tutorial keep safe